Hey guys, it's Law with Hollywood First Look here at the 20th anniversary G'day USA Arts Gala. Here, the American Australian Association is going to be honoring Sam Worthington, Miranda Kerr, and the Kid Leroy for their excellence in the arts. Let's take a first look. Look, it's very flattering. Um, I've always been part of this bridge between Australian films and American films, and so, uh, you know, it's extremely humbling. I'm delighted to be here because I'm here to honor my colleague and friend Sam Worthington, who, as you know, stars as Jake Sully in Avatar. Sam and I have worked together with sort of an intermittent re, uh, regularity over the past 15 years. And during that time, we've become good friends, and I have such respect for him, and I think it's wonderful that, uh, that the Australian-American community is honoring him in this way because I think he really deserves it. I've been lucky enough to cover this for most of the events over the years, so to actually be asked to host was first of all a huge honour. Um, I'm lucky enough to know Sam Worthington, Miranda Kerr I've known for a long, long time, and the Kid Leroy I've been lucky enough to meet as he's risen to stardom in recent times, so I'm thrilled to be here the years three such talented people are being inducted. But I'm also beyond excited to be here on the night we pay tribute to the incredible Olivia Newton-John. For me it's about the fact that we all love Olivia and um, I'm very grateful that we had a personal mentoring friendship my whole life um, and a kindred spirit. But in these moments I'm reminded that, you know, it is about the love of her that they all, that, that we just want to sing the songs together that have been a part of our lives and all the songs we've all loved. And I just want to do that justice and do a great job in, in honouring my friend. After I had played her in the biopic in Australia, the first time we saw each other after that, we were doing a charity event. You know, I'd come to sing with her um, in Melbourne. And we just looked at each other and we just cried. And you just have those tears. And I have many moments where we've sung together and we just had that, um, you know, spiritual connection. And I think that, I think of those moments. And I also think of the impact when I was a child of, of all the things she taught me. You know, I met her in New York when I was a kid. And as chance, fate would have it. And I remember all those things, you know. Doing a little cheeky performance, uh, very excited. It's just a one song, just like get in, get out, put on a little cheeky show, head back to the seat. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I love these events. I love being around other Australians. I love being like, got Delta next to me. Grew up listening to Delta's stuff back in Australia. So it's nice to have, you know, people you grew up listening to, other musicians that you, you know, think are amazing and just like, it's a good community. G'day USA is one of the big, biggest events in Australia and to be in a room with so many talented and incredible Aussies is such an honour and it's even more of an honour to be able to perform my own music in front of them. Uh, you know, I love seeing other Aussie mates that are here together and like over the years, uh, the Qantas song always rings true. I still call Australia home and so when you see people that uh, you've known for a long time that are celebrating a part of you. It just, it really warms your heart. I was a cinematographer on Elvis and I'm here to support our film. And also, I, I just love this event because you realise when you come here how many Australians are doing well all over the world, not just Hollywood, but they, they were in, and we all get together and we don't see each other very often. So it's a great opportunity to catch up with friends and, and then you realise that the talent that we have. Now we're here, it's nominated for Best Picture, the yeah. excitement is, is all over the world. How's that feel, being, being at the end? Boy, it's very gratifying to know that uh, we've been as embraced uh, uh, so wholeheartedly by um, by the, by the world, you know, and uh, it's really it just goes to prove that lightning can strike twice. Yeah. Hopefully it'll strike three, four, five times for Avatar. I think it's a testament to the thousands of people that are involved. I'm a very small part of that, um, and I think we're all extremely humbled by how well it's been embraced. got to be pretty amazing energy that you're feeling in award season right now, getting yes. recognized. Uh, what was it, the third ever cinematographer, yes. or female cinematographer yes. ever recognized? Um, what is that like for you in this moment heading into the Oscar season? Oh look it's great and I think it just um, it's it's sort of showing more and more that women are doing my job and we're doing a good job and we're being recognized and hopefully soon maybe me will be the first one to win <laughs> I'm hoping. Football is life right <laughs> so a lot of Ted Lasso talks um, I'm wondering what does the energy feel like before you're going into another season uh, before anything's come out? Like, is it like a nervous energy? How do you feel right now? I, I felt very excited. I was very happy to be back with all the cast and crew. 
We've been together for now three years and we've become a family. And that, that was very exciting. And as the scripts were coming, because we didn't receive the scripts in one go. So we were working and getting excited to just find out how the story was going to come out. Aussies are great. Do you like Aussies? Yeah, of course. Hells yeah, you do.